Welcome to part 11 of your Game Maker Beginner series. In this video, we're going to add collision to our game, so that way we actually stop when we encounter these walls. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, I do want to point out that I did lose the files for the project that we were working in, so I had to make a whole new project, and I just have an object player, and I have an object wall, I have some sprites loaded in, and then we have our room. And in the room, we just have two walls and a player. Um, so in our object player, in the create event, uh, of course, all I have is a create event and a step event. But in the create event, I just have a variable called player speed, and that is equal to 5, and that's how fast we're moving. And then in the step event, I have a, some movement system code that is pretty much the same as it was in the last videos. So we're going to add collision. And, uh, of course, you can see if keyboard check W, which is, of course, to go up, it's going to set our Y minus equal to player speed. And so we're going to add the collision code with a function called place meeting. So we're going to nest a if statement. This is called nesting when you do an if statement within an if statement. So if place under slash meeting, actually we're going to do it like this. If exclamation mark place under slash meeting. Um, X comma Y minus player under slash speed. And then we want the name of the object we want to collide with which in our case is object wall. Um, okay, so if the exclamation, okay, so, you know, an if statement is just checking if something is true. If we are holding down the W, if that is true, run this code. Place meeting, if this exclamation mark wasn't here, it's saying if we are colliding with the wall, if that's true, then it would run the code. Um, when you put an exclamation mark, it's changing it from true to false. So instead of saying, uh, if we are colliding with the wall, run the code, we're saying, if we are not colliding with the code, with that exclamation mark, it, if we are not colliding with the wall, then run this code. So just keep that in mind. Like right here in the uh, if keyboard check W, if we put an exclamation mark right here, which you can use this in all your if statements, this would be saying, if we are not holding down W, then, uh, then run this code. So um, we're going to say, if we are not colliding with this wall, we're going to put our curly braces, uh, and we're going to run this y minus equal player speed. So in other words, we're saying, OK, if we are holding down w, OK, that's true. So now run everything in here. Another if statement, if, sorry, if we are not colliding with the wall, then move up. So obviously, if we are colliding with the wall, don't run anything, because that's all we're going to do right here. So when we run the game, uh, it's not going to work for uh, D, A, and S, but when we hold W, it's going to stop right at this wall. We have to add this to all of our other code. And then uh, if you're wondering, we're of course saying X, that's the X position of our player. The Y is the Y position of our player, right? But when we say y minus player speed, we're saying, okay, our y position, uh, but also we're looking five pixels ahead because player speed is equal to five. We're also looking five pixels ahead. So if there is a wall five pixels in front of us, um, then we are not going to move anymore. All right. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And of course, this is for A. Um, so... We want to change this if place meeting uh, instead of minus player speed, because this is x minus equal players, player speed, we want to put this right here, x minus player speed. And uh, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here at our D, and I'm going to indent this just so it looks good. Now, this is x plus equal player speed, so I'm going to change this minus to a plus. And then, of course, going down, we're going to have to change this to y. Uh, we're going to get rid of this, and this needs to be y plus player speed because this is y plus equal player speed. Okay, now we have collision. So when we run the game, uh, it works on all sides. Everything's good to go. Now, one issue that we're facing uh, is when we run into the wall and we kind of move our player around, he kind of, uh, he kind of clips into the wall and he, it's basically not smooth. So like I'm holding up right now and I'm not moving, I can't move up or down. I can move away, but, you know, I'm just kind of getting stuck on this wall, and it doesn't feel good. So we're going to fix that. And uh, I'll show you what, what's happening. There's something you need to understand in Game Maker 
that's called a mask. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If we look over here on our object player, uh, of course, this is where we choose the sprite, right? Well, under that, there's something called the collision mask. And it's set by default to be the same as the sprite. Um, that's what it is by default. You can edit your mask by opening up the sprite. And uh, normally this is going to be set to automatic. This is basically, um, your, your mask is basically all of the image that the code is going to recognize. So like this is 64 by 64. Well, you can see this highlighted area is the only thing the code is going to recognize. It's not, it's not going to be 64 by 64 within the game, okay? Uh, now, what's happening is, even though this is almost a perfect square, um, when we rotate our sprite, when we're looking at the mouse, it's, it's rotating this mask as well. So it's clipping into the wall. Now, because I know this is hard to explain, it might not make sense, I'm going to give you a visual of what is happening. So I created a draw event and I put some code in here that's actually going to draw out the mask. You can screenshot this if you want. And when we run the game, this red square is going to show our mask. And we can see when I rotate how that mask is getting bigger and smaller. And that is what we're going to have to correct so that our, our uh, collisions are actually smooth. Because look at this. When I uh, press into the wall, when I move... Yeah, now I can't go W, A, S, or D. I'm stuck until I kind of break away. And so that's a big issue because your players are going to get stuck. And so to do that, we got to make sure that our mask stays the same size no matter what direction that we're pointing in. And so we're going to do that now. Um, so if you're following along, create a draw event already. I'm going to kind of ignore this code. You can comment out code by clicking slash star. And... Uh, and that'll make it to where anything below that is not going to run. Um, so make a draw event. <clears throat> and we're going to do this. Draw sprite ext, which means extended. And then we're going to say um, sprite under slash index, which sprite index is whatever sprite you have assigned to your object, which in our case is spr under slash player. Uh, sprite index, that's what that stands for. Uh, image index, uh, then we're going to say x, y, we're going to say image under slash x scale, image under slash y scale, and then we're going to say uh, point under slash direction, and we're going to say within there, x, y, mouse under slash x, mouse under slash y, then we're going to put a comma, so we're basically using the same function in step event at the bottom here, image angle equal point direction x, y, uh, mouse x. We could have literally copied this right here without the image angle. But that's what we're using right here. Um, and then we're going to say image under slash blend, and we're going to say image under slash alpha. We'll talk more about this function of draw sprite extended uh, in another video. But if we run the game now, we shouldn't, actually we will. Last thing we got to do after we draw it out is go to your step event Delete this code at the bottom if you're using it, the image angle, angle equals point direction. Because now we're doing that right here. Um, now when we run the game, uh, we do not have that issue anymore, which is very nice. We have smooth movement. We're not clipping, uh, and it's, it's pretty great, right? Uh, because our mask is staying the same size. And I'll demonstrate that. I'll put that red box back. Okay, so now we have the red box back, and notice the mask is not getting bigger or smaller because we're not manipulating the sprite. Before, we were literally manipulating our sprite. Now we're just drawing out, which I, I moved that code right here. We're just drawing out the sprite, and we can do anything we want to it, and it doesn't actually uh, change our mask or anything. So yeah, now we have smooth collision, which is very, very nice. Um, pretty cool, right? So that's all I got for you on this video. I didn't want to leave you all hanging. I know it's been months since I had part 11, but now I'm uploading daily. Uh, please follow me on X if you have it, x.com slash wizardy. I'm also on Instagram, instagram.com slash wizardy. And I'm also on Discord. The link for all of these things are in the description. And uh, I'll do part 12 here in the future. And I want to talk to you about even better ways to handle movement. Because this works, but it's pretty hillbilly. <laughs> this is a pretty hillbilly way to do movement. 
there's a much better way. And I want to show you those ways. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have a good time. Once again, subscribe if you're not already because we're doing daily uploads. Daily uploads. Uh, not just with this series, but many topics. Much of it's beginner friendly. So I want to encourage you, keep learning. Keep making great games. Don't get discouraged by whatever is discouraging you. Um, you know, everyone starts somewhere. So don't, uh, don't quit. And I, I hope you all make the game of your dreams. And I hope I get to play it one day. So that's all I got for you. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Uh, because that shows this video to more people. So even just any kind of anything, I'm begging you. No, I'm not really. But um, uh, thank you for everybody who is engaging because that does help us with the algorithm. I'll see you next video.